Hi all, this is Chris Charles with Everyday VBA. This is the Macro Monday solution to adding text to a shape. We're going to go, just go ahead and dig right in. I already have my Visual Basic Editor open. I've added a module and I've called this button names. So the first thing I want to show you, if you look at my um, screen here, you'll see I've got these two shapes in here. Um, and actually when I was doing some testing on this, I ran into an issue and I'll show you why. So I'm going to come into my immediate window and I'm going to go Active, active Sheet dot shapes dot count right that means that I've got three shapes in here so the error that I actually ran into is I ran into I was trying to add text to my picture it doesn't, it doesn't work I didn't like it I don't know what's going on alright so let me just show you how to add text now it seems like it would be pretty pretty intuitive pretty simple um, but it is a little bit more difficult just based on how shapes work because there's so many things that you can do with shapes so the way that you're going to add text is we're going to go active sheet dot uh, shapes and we're going to go to shape 2 which is actually going to be this one because it's the second sheet shape that I added to that page and we're going to go text frame dot characters dot text equals test uh, cancel test all right, so we've got that. Let's see if it works, and you'll notice it worked beautifully. So now that we've done that, we can actually do this for both of these. Um, I'm going to do two different macros. We're going to throw in an input box, uh, and really the hardest part of this whole thing is doing the research to figure out what this code needs to be. Um, and actually the hardest part for me was just figuring out that I can't add text to a picture. Uh, go figure. So. Um, I'm going to just add an input box. So this is going to be uh, input box. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to press my button. I box is equal to IMP box enter text for the button. And then we're just going to do that as the only thing we're going to do right there. And so then all we have to do is put in iBox. And then I'm going to show you how to shrink this down one other step just for the second one. Um, and again, you, if you have a button on there, you're this one, this one or two or three is your index or the number that Excel thinks that that button is. Um, and you can actually get there. If you go to your home window and you go to find, uh, find and select and you hit look at the selection, Pain. This is actually going to show you all of your shapes. So I've got shape one, which is picture one, rectangle two, and rectangle three. And you can actually also come over here, um, in, kind of to the left of your formula bar, and it's going to give you the name. And you can actually hide these. You can make them visible, etc. So if you wanted to change the order, you could actually change the order on those as well. So that's kind of a, um, a a little bit of a diatribe, but just wanted to show you how that works. So let's do this for the next button, and that is going to be, we're going to reset, that's fine. We're going to call this, this is going to be two, and I'm actually going to rename this one. And all we're going to do on this one is we're going to, instead of passing it to a variable and then passing it to the text box, we're just going to simplify that one line. So this is kind of a good trick, and, and as you learn code, you'll actually start to do more of this. Um, it's just simplifying simplifying your code. Um, that is, of, of course, if you're not going to use that again, like you would not do, you would not do this this instance right here if you were going to use that variable again further down in the code. Um, but this just simplifies it. Instead of doing two lines, it's one line. And now all we're going to do is we are going to assign these macros to these boxes. So all I have to do is go right click, assign macro. This is going to be button one. I'm going to assign here. This is going to be button two. And I already know an error that I have on my button two because I didn't change the sheet index. So I'm going to go back to that. You'll notice that I have that as number three. Um, you could actually also, uh, there's a couple ways that you could get to your shapes, but anyway, um, let's just use index for now. And so now if we click on this, we're going to go, this is button one. Yay. And we're going to click on this. This is button 
two. There we go. So that is your solution to Macro Monday or adding text to a shape. I hope you enjoyed.